Today is the part 3 of how to be a nurse in New Zealand series which will be all about visa application and this will include um, making your Realme account in Immigration New Zealand, filling up your visit visa online application form, making your expression of interest, and sending your passport to visa application center. So if you want to know the details, just keep on watching. this is Kate and welcome to my channel so today I will be sharing with you my experience how to apply for visit visa for CAP students today's process is really challenging for IQNs because of the pandemic so it is far different from the usual and today I will discuss the current process on how to apply a visitor's visa under the critical purpose category. So today, hindi na tayo basta pwedeng um, makapag-apply ng visa. You need to always check the Immigration New Zealand website um, to see if you are um, eligible to apply na for your visa. Ang, ang schedule na nakalagay sa Immigration New Zealand na pwedeng mag-apply ng visa is yung mga IQNs or International Qualified Nurses na may schedule ng Competency Assessment Program which will start on January to March 2021. April onwards, hindi pa kayo pwedeng mag ng uh, expression of interest nyo and hindi pa kayo pwedeng mag-apply ng visa. So firstly, before you apply a visitor's visa, you need first to apply for expression of interest. So hindi na siya kagaya before na pwedeng directly mag-apply ka na ng visa. So currently, you need to make an expression of interest first. So how to do this, I will show you. You can go to Immigration New Zealand website and then um, click for request for travel to New Zealand. You can see all the details there and then you can select the reason for your travel which is the critical health worker. And then describe your circumstances and your reason for traveling to New Zealand. So, choose this one. Nurses who are internationally qualified and have verified enrollment in a competency assessment for program. Who is your employer? It is your school. So, fill up nyo lang yan, lahat ng details. So, secondary applicant for those who have um, family partner or dependent child. Health details, character details, so fill up nyo lang lahat yan. Of course, the declaration, yes, I agree. And then, prove you are a human, I'm not a robot. And then, submit form, and that's it. Just wait for um, 3 to 5 days for you to receive your invitation to apply. So, you will receive an invitation to apply stating that you can now uh, proceed to uh, apply for your visitor's visa. So this invitation to apply, if you will receive this, it has only a one month validity. So you need to apply for your visitor's visa within one month. Okay, so while waiting for your um, invitation to apply, you can now make your Realme account. Ano ba yung Realme account? Ito yung um, account mo sa Immigration New Zealand na gagamitin mo sa any online transaction mo sa kanila. Okay, so I will show you how to do a Realme account online. Just go to the Immigration New Zealand website and then create a Realme login. So fill up everything. Contact details, your password, security questions. It's just easy to create an account and then it will send to your email for the verification of your account. Okay, so you're now done with your uh, Realme account. If you have received already your invitation to apply, you can now proceed to uh, do your visitor's visa application. But first, what are the documents needed to prepare um, 
before you apply for your visitor's visa online. So you need a passport size picture. You need a passport copy. So for me, no need for um, certified true copy of this passport copy. Um, they accepted mine. And then make your cover letter addressing to the immigration officer, uh, which states your purpose of um, applying for visitor's visa. And then uh, police clearance. So any countries na um, pinanggalingan mo or pinagworkan mo, you need to secure a police clearance or NBI. Um, it should be valid for six months. Fill up the INZ1224 form, which you can find in the Immigration New Zealand website. And then prepare also your ITA, your invitation to apply letter. And then um, prepare also this critical purpose evidence. You will put this one in a one PDF file. So this will include your cap letter, your offer letter from school, um, your receipts of payments sa course mo, and then support letter or guarantee letter from school, six months back statement. Next is um, travel insurance, and then your travel ticket, which is um, one way, and then your MIQ voucher, and then your um, certificate of employment, and lastly, your English exam result. Okay, so um, lahat po na sinashare ko sa inyo is based on my experience. So for me, uh, um, upon receiving my invitation to apply, I immediately purchased my um, travel ticket and also my uh, travel or health insurance so that I can attach it in my visitor's visa application and also my MIQ voucher. So simultaneously, um, if you will uh, book first your um, manage isolation voucher and then your uh, flight, ticket so that um, you can attach all of them in your visitor's visa application. Like me, um, I am traveling with my family. My husband and my baby will come with me. If isama nyo din sila, you will have um, an additional document. So if with family, um, you need the passport copy ni partner and dependent child and also um, passport size picture and also marriage certificate nyo ni partner and also birth certificate ni baby lastly this proof of genuine relationship so you have to prove to the immigration officer that you have a stable and genuine relationship so yung mga proof na yon pwedeng proof is um, you should make a cover letter you state nyo doon um, kung paano kayo nagkakilala um, ano yung status nyo ngayon and ano yung mga future plans nyo and your um, um, purpose kung bakit mo sila isasama sa New Zealand sa application mo. Ganon. And then, uh, we provided also a photo timeline. For this photo timeline, I just uh, provided a 10 pages um, 10 pages photo timeline with um, 6 pictures each page with captions. And then, um, letter from family and friends. Um, you can For us, we provided 4 letters from uh, my mother, uh, my husband's mother, and then 2 of our friends. And then, tenancy contract that states you are uh, living together for at least 1 year. So, it's okay. It is better for if more than 1 year. So just to prove na um, you are living together um, for more than one year. Actually, the, New Ze the Immigration New Zealand is not uh, requiring for you to have a civil union as long as um, you live in together for more than one month, for more than one year. Um, pasok kayo sa requirements nila. You can also include your properties. Uh, under your names, any um, house and lot or car, um, also insurances na nakapangalan sa inyo and beneficiary si husband or si wife nyo, pwedeng proof yun. Also, your joint accounts. So, sabi nila, if most probably ma-approve ka and masendan ka ng invitation to apply, most probably ma-approve ka rin ng visitor's visa. So, yung visitor's visa under critical purpose category is good for 6 months. So, nandyan yan sa Immigration New Zealand website natin. Um, 6 months vis visitor's visa siya. And um, yung na-issue sa amin is kasama ko si husband and baby dahil um, nandun naman sa Immigration New Zealand na pwede mong isama 
ang iyong partner and dependent child. So, um, ngayong pandemic, we decided na um, isama ko na lang sila kasi um, baka mahirapan na kung kunin sila kapag ako lang yun nauna. So, initially, ang plan namin is ako lang talaga yung mawawala kasi usually, ganun talaga yung nangyayari kapag um, nagka-cup yung mga IQNs. If you have a um, family, iniiwan muna nila. So, sila muna yung nauna. But, this time, um, napakahirap talaga mag-decide and it, it is really a different scenario. So, we really decided and we prayed na um, magkakasama na lang kami pupunta sa New Zealand. I will just show you a preview on how to apply for a visitor's visa online under your Realme account. Log on to your Realme account and click on visitor's visa. So, just fill out everything. And then, um, start my application. So, which type of visitor visa are you applying for? Just select special category visitor's visa. And then, what type of special category visitor visa are you applying for? It is critical purpose visitor visa. So, this is regarding manage isolation. Just fill it out. And then the estimated date of arrival and departure, just put the bracket of 6 months. And then the usual question regarding um, this application is regarding the question, how long do you plan to stay in New Zealand in total? So, nilagay namin doon is more than 59 days and up to 6 months because yun yung um, coverage ng ating critical purpose visa, 6 months. And also, um, regarding sa medical, um, dahil nung na-receive mo yung ITA mo, hindi tayo ni-require na mag-undergo ng medical. So, doon sa question na um, nire-require ka ba ng Immigration New Zealand to provide a medical certificate or medical exam, so you will put there, no. I have not been asked to provide medical information. So, yan yung um... Yan, ganyan kadami yung uh, fill up mo. Parang first part pa lang yung sa identity and contacts. You have questions, you can just comment below. And then I'll try to answer your questions. In relation to our previous application. And then, if nasend mo na si visitors visa mo, um, meron, meron dong PDF form na you, can, you should print it. And um, you can view it. So, nandun lahat ng um, summary ng visitor's visa application mo. And sa last page nun, um, i-require ka nila na isang yung passport mo sa visa application center nearest sa address mo. So, for us, na nandito kami sa South, nearest na uh, visa application center dito is nasa Dubai pa. So, sila namin si passport namin. Um, printed summary ng visitor's visa application nyo. And also, yung authorization ng credit card. So, i-fill up nyo rin yon. Uh, here is the sample form. You can also search it in Google. So, if you fill up nyo yun para um, pag, pagdating ng documents nyo sa Visa Application Center, ibabawas, itadadak nilang nila yung uh, fee doon sa uh, credit card na in-input nyo doon sa um, authorization letter. So, for us, it took um, 3 to 5 days from sending the document and then going back sa regarding dun sa English exam. I-maglog in na kayo sa account nyo if it's IELTS or OET. And then, i-allow nyo na si Immigration New Zealand na ma-view yung English exam result nyo. Kasi, pwede pa siya mag ng delay if hindi pa agad ma-view ni Immigration New Zealand yung OET result nyo. So, ang timeline namin is November 19, nag-apply ako ng um, expression of interest after 5 days. Saka ako nabigyan ng invitation to apply. So, that is November 24. Uh, 2020. And then, on the same day, ipinasa namin yung visitor's visa application namin. And then, after 15 days, which is December 9, sa kapo um, approve yung visitor's visa namin under critical purpose. So, 
ayun, um, lahat naman ng conditions sa kalagay doon, na issuehan kami ng uh, visa, which is um, uh, good for 6 months. So, no need for round trip na ticket. So, so I think that's it. Um, I hope na naka-help tong video na to para sa ating mga aspiring nurses. Um, especially dun, if nandito na kayo sa station based application. So, um, if you have questions, I will try just comment below. I will try my very best na um, sagutin and um, tulungan kayo regarding dito sa visa application for CAP students. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, God bless and stay safe.